Let's look at question 29. See if I can increase the size. All right, it says the transformation which maps triangle P Q R that's triangle P no, P Q R onto triangle P prime Q prime R prime in the diagram is all right so we are supposed to find out what transformation maps the triangle on your left to the one on your right Now, A says an enlargement of scale factor negative 1. First of all, if you talk about an enlargement, you need a center of enlargement. Right? So that shows that something is wrong from the beginning. And the thing is, when you have an enlargement, the original and the image are similar so it's definitely not an enlargement a reflection in the line y equal x so the line y equal x it looks something like this well it's supposed to be straight right and if it's reflected over there p would be somewhere around here R would end up about here and Q end up about here. So it would look something like this. So definitely that's not it. Glide reflection. Glide reflection would mean that it slides and goes somewhere. And then is reflected. So if PQR was to slide and see it ends up here it would look like this right P would be up here R down here Q down here when it's reflected P would end up here that's what the glide reflection would look like so that's not it so we can rule out D we rule out A already and B so let's look at C a rotation of 180 degrees through the origin rotation of 180 degrees through the origin now you do have an angle and you have here you have a center of rotation which is the origin 180 degrees through the origin if RQ rotates 180 degrees through the origin what that would mean is that from the origin RQ would end up like this then it would go Q would be traveling round and round and round so Q went end up here then it would end up here we're looking at just one side of the triangle for now Q would keep going this way and R prime Q prime well this side this, this side R Q would match R prime Q prime so it seems as if it's going to be the rotation let's look at the at the entire triangle if you should rotate the entire triangle right you'll have something like this at one point as we keep rotating it would look like this And at some point, R would rotate to here. Q would come right around to here. So Q and P would come somewhere about there. All right. 
and then the entire where would P go? R Q P right. P would be more like this. But if you use your imagination, no, P would be on this side. Let me erase this and go again. If you should rotate the entire triangle, at some point you would have R here. You would have Q along the end of the line and from R to P would be a 90 degrees so P would end up here then later on as you keep rotating clockwise you would have R here Q would be straight along here and P to R would be a 90 degree right so P would end up somewhere here and as we keep doing that R would come down here Q would end up here and P as it rotates would end up here all right so it is a rotation right let me just take a look at the answers as I want to see what the answers are as confirmation and also to make sure that everything is all right with them so in this case this is question which question was it again question 29 and question 29 is C right C it's a rotation of 180 degrees through the origin you can see that it's definitely a rotation all right let's look at question 30. let's move on to question 30. see what it says if e is equal to half mv square then and they want what v is equal to let's see how you could deal with this you have first of all e equals half m v squared and you want v if you divide by half divide by half you also divide by m both sides at some point you will end up with one side having e over half m equal half cancel half over here m cancel m so you have v squared all right it's supposed to be e over half m it ha has supposed to has a, have an e over half m which is the same thing as 2e over m because e is divided by half here i know when you divide by half it's the same as multiplying by 2 so it is suggesting so far that c is the correct answer oh it would be complete yet how do you find v when you have a square root of when you have v square what you need to do is square root v and if you square root v you need to square root this as well so square root of v squared is v so v is 2e over m so question 30 is c all right question 30 is c Let's look at question 31. Should be somewhere down here. We have to zoom out a bit to see all of question 31. Let me just erase this over here. O is the center of the circle, A, B, C. That's a circle A, B, C, all right? And O, C, B, that's O, C, B, the angle O, C, B is 30 degrees. What is the size of angle A, O, C? Angle A, 
O C. We want to know what the size of that angle is. So this is the angle that we're, we're really trying to, to find here. This angle. Alright. Here from O to B is the same distance as O C. Alright. O B is the same distance as O C. You can see that because it's a radius of the same circle. O B is the radius, O C is also the radius. Now what that means is that the angle there are two angles here that are equal. Can you tell another angle? You can see that this is 30 degrees. Alright? Now, the third angle that we haven't found out yet is this one. The third angle in the triangle. You know that all of these angles add up to give you 180 degrees. All three angles in any triangle. The sum is 180 degrees. So, the 30 plus the other 30 plus, this is angle BOC, BOC is equal to 180. You know, 30 and 30, that's 60 plus BOC, angle BOC is 180 degrees. So BOC is going to be 180 minus 60 which gives you 120 degrees. So this angle here is 120 and the thing is all of this angle is on a straight line. So you know what that angle, that big angle here is? It's 180 degrees. And if you take 120 off the 180, you know what you get, right? 180 minus 120 is 60. So this angle we're trying to find is 60 degrees. So angle B is 60 degrees. That's 31. It's supposed to be B. Question 31, B, right? Question 31, that's B. All right, we break for now and continue later on.